Hey there, my name is Chris Matthew, the Director of Business Development for Voxeo Labs, the creators of Tropo, SMSified, and Phono. Have you ever wanted to call an API or text message an API to find out the status of something? Well, it's, uh, it's a pretty easy thing to do with Tropo. Uh, so let me show you what I was thinking of. Um, have you heard of the Node.js open source platform called Nodester? Well, Nodester um, is pretty cool because there's a, a command line interface and a REST API that lets you do a lot of things with uh, hosting your Node.js applications. Um, and I wanted to basically call or text a phone number to tell me what the status of Nodester is. So um, I created a very simple uh, Node.js application that basically does this for you. And um, I want to show you how it works. And then we'll call it and text it and see uh, if it works. So um, if we start off by showing you some uh, Nodester commands. So if you do a Nodester uh, status from the command line, you'll see that it responds that basically the, the systems are up. There's 2,879 applications hosted, 1,700 plus applications running, um, which is pretty cool. But you can also uh, use the REST API and curl this. So you can curl, uh, let's see, api.nodester.com slash status. And you basically get the same results in a JSON response. So status up, you know, hosted apps, etc. So what I did, I created a, um, a Node.js app. Let me cat it. So let's see, server.js. That uh, basically, let's see. So it uses um, the Triple Web API, which you can install by uh, running a npm install tropo dash web api dash g for global. And then it uses request uh, npm module to fetch the Nodester API status. So let me show you what it looks like. It basically uh, just uh, instantiates the Tropo Web API and sets that to Tropo. Then it calls the uh, request against the nodester.com uh, slash status. And if it's not an error or if, it, if its uh, status code is 200, which means successful, then it goes ahead and parses out the, um, the, the statuses in, and formulates a tropo.say method, which is all text-to-speech. So it'll say Nodester is, you know, whether it's up or down, and hosting, so just concatenating all this stuff together. Um, the hosted JSON response and running, the apps running JSON uh, element in, in the body. And then it just basically uh, sets, sets content type to application JSON and ends the stream and sends it the uh, tropo uh, message. So that's that's it. Um, once you have that, uh, I have it deployed on uh, tropo status .nodester. So if we go to uh, tropo status .nodester, you'll see that it basically sends tropo JSON uh, back to tropo to speak. So it'll say nodester is up and hosting blah 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 blah. And uh, so one trick to get this all connected to Tropo is you actually have to create a Tropo web API application, give it a name, give it the URL that we push the application to, and that's it. We automatically get a Skype address, a SIP address, an INUM um, to call it, and I added a phone number to it. So I added 480-428-8723. So, let's call it. No is up and hosting 2,879 applications with 1,758 running at the moment. Well, that's pretty cool. So, that one little script, what was it? It was like... Uh, yeah, so 25 lines of Node.js basically allows us to call the application with Tropo. Now watch, that same script 
you can also text that same number anything so I can say test or whatever so I just sent that message Yep, and there's my response. So as I say, yep, Nostra is up and hosting 2,800 applications with 1,700 running at the moment. Isn't that cool? So that's that's a, a, a very quick Node.js script running on the Tropo API that lets you use voice and SMS with the same application. No, no distinction between the two uh, channels. Pretty cool. Nodester out. Tropo out.